Right, Steve Davis Snooker 1985 CDS software. Do have a little bit of history with this game. I did play it when I was a kid, and it was the game that persuaded my dad that I needed a colour TV because uh, I was playing it on a black and white TV, and obviously I couldn't see the colour of the balls. So uh, there you go. Thank you, Steve Davis. I don't think I actually played it that often, but yeah, that was nice. Uh, I've loaded this from cassette as well, which I'm pretty pleased to say. Uh, let's have a go. I haven't played it for a very long time. Hang on, right, so pushing fire didn't work. <laughs> uh, maybe it's the classic not in the right joystick port, what do you think? Let's have a look. No, it's not doing anything over. There we go, select option. Alright, well, I don't know why that took so long. Uh, I don't know what options are what, but I think. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to be a player, that's going to be the computer. Okay. What do these icons mean? How did I ever figure this out as a kid? Right, so enters the edit mode, enters the play mode. Oh, we don't do editing. Editing lets you change the colour of the table and the cushions and stuff. But we just want to play, so let's go play. Computer skill level, I think we'll go down a little bit, shall we? Give me a chance. Yeah, normal's good. Right, sufficient so white inside the D. Right, and that's where I'm aiming for now, I assume, this cross. Press a bit of spin. Right, well, there's only one colour I can go out here. And across, so we'll put on the edge of it. Don't get any guides or anything to tell you whether you're aiming well. Spin and not too hard. If that goes in, that is luck, because I was aiming for the uh, bottom pocket there. Didn't get that right. Let's see what the computer does then. Or Steve Davis, in fact. This one. It's pretty hard to see where about on the ball you're actually striking, to be honest. Oh, fight the white. Foul four. Yeah, I think a lot of uh, more modern snooker games give you like lines to see whereabouts you're, you're actually going to strike the ball and what sort of ricochets going to I know that maybe that's cheating, but it does make it more playable. Yeah, like, I don't know I'm going to get on the edge of that one, to be honest. Uh, hmm. I think we have to come down here somewhere and can't really see for sure whether I'm gonna make it. Well, that was alright, it wasn't a foul, it was the main thing. Well, it's pretty tough. <laughs> Won't surprise you, I suppose. It's quite a few snooker games on the 64, I think. Like Hustler's another one, isn't it? By Bubble Bus. Um, I 
I guess the first time they got really good was Jimmy White's, which I remember playing on the Amiga. Oh, I cut that way too fine. Right, let's see if we can get one going along the edge here. Nope. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not much better at snooker in real life. Did have a pool table for a while when I was a kid, which was pretty cool. Still wasn't any good at it. This stage, I'd just be able to put in. But I should have put the computer up better, so at least you wouldn't suffer and watch us all being rubbish. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Well, my memories of this were a lot fonder. Surely I must have found it hard when I was a kid as well. Maybe I was playing my friends and they were equally bad. I don't know. Oh, come off it. Oh, I thought it was going to go in then. That would have been jammy. Jammy. I'm I'm allowed to be jamming, just not the computer. Music's getting pretty irritating now. as I thought. Oh no. That's the blue gone. Five points away. Oh look, I've got four points. Woo! Oh no! I've got a double fire then, I didn't mean to. Dang. Oh look, it's giving me another four points. Maybe this is how I will win. Was that so bad? Oh. Oh, hang on, look. What can I change here? Can I... Oh, I can turn the music off. That's. Oh. I could do that. That's, that's quite handy. Icon driven menu system. 1985. Oh, that's so much better, isn't it, without the music? Hmm. Chuff with that one. Nice if that had left that black there though. 
let's go for the black chance of me getting that right are oh, very slim but Oh yes, look at that, expert. Oh, that wasn't so expert. Very lucky. I think I was expecting to position the white for some reason. I don't know why. That's probably what would have happened in a real snooker table. Definitely, almost, almost definitely would have got that wrong. <clears throat> right, so it should be about there, right? No, way too fine. It's one of the games where you need to get a ruler on the telly, I think. So, yeah, find it up. Way too straight. Right, to save everyone's sanity, I'm going to play this until one of us has got to 20 points, and then I will stop. Um, that might take a long time. Right. Oh, nearly. Oh, I missed it. That's not good. Seven points away. Oh well. Means it's nearly over. Won't be long, I promise. Has he jammed that? No. It's making me wonder if one of the reasons Jimmy White's was so good is because it had a mouse. Very straight, wasn't it? Like the collisions, it sort of stutters. Go on, go on. Oh. Too fine again. Well, hang on, hang on. Yes. Right, can we do this? No. 
thought that was going to be a moment. for the blue oh no he's giving me points that's it we're done we're done five points away there you go i'm 23 to 19 all right well that is we'll leave it there as promised it's a bit boring otherwise i think um that is steve davis snooker from 1985 thank you